Hi, I'm Mike O'Donnell. Hello, I'm John Watson. And hello, I'm Michael Krzyzewski. And we are your Philadelphia team for Simplex Grinnell. We are responsible for handling your life safety facility code compliance issues with inside of Philadelphia. For more information, you can contact us using the information provided below the video. We look forward to servicing your life safety needs. Thank you. Performing a fire pump churn test, the pump is first started by dropping the pressure in the sensing line from the fire pump controller. This stimulates the activation of a sprinkler head in the building to start the fire pump automatically. With an automatic controller, the controllers will shut down the fire pump after a specified amount of time. For an electric pump, this is 10 minutes. There's a number of things that are observed at the pump while the churn is being performed. The first is just the housing, make sure that the temperatures are staying in line. The pressures are verified on both the suction and the discharge side of the pump to make sure that they're within their design limits. and the pump pressure relief is also verified to ensure that any extra pressure is being let off as designed. All the data taken during the test is recorded then for entry into the inspection reporting software.